What's up everybody? So I'm back with another review. This time we're looking at hotheads and I'm gonna do two in one. Try and start condensing these down so it's not just one sauce per video. We're gonna be doing both of these at the same time. So we've got hotheads, hot slice. I like his design. He has a really nice matte label to it and overall follows a nice theme across all of his sauces. You recognize hotheads when you see it for sure. Heat indicator three out of five. So this is hot slice, parmesan, and oregano. Ciao bella. And now the other sauce that we're looking at is actually a collaboration with the Seven Pot Club. And this is called Scoville Scale. Seven Pot and Trinidad Scorpion. Label's a little different here because of what it says. So Scoville Scale is a celebratory exclamation that means just consume something both incredibly tasty and extremely hot. So the ingredients on Scoville Scale are Seven Pot and Trinidad peppers apple cider vinegar, sweet onion, red bell pepper, fresh garlic, carrot, sugar, lime juice, salt, tomato paste, and olive oil. That olive oil is gonna give a nice creaminess to it, I think. And then the hot slice ingredients, apple cider vinegar, red bell pepper, orange habanero, parmesan, garlic, sun-dried tomato, oregano, olive oil, tomato paste, sugar, salt, red pepper flakes, ancho powder, Hungarian, and smoked paprika. So I'm expecting this is going to have some deep pizza flavors, obviously. Tomato-based sauces are really good. They're very, very universal in use, typically. So I think that one's going to be awesome as well. So first order of business, get out our handy dandy tasting spoon. All right, I think we will try hot slice first. So the heat of this does not detract from me understanding what the heat of this one is. So the pour. Decent consistency, not overly runny, but even if you were to refrigerate, it's gonna move, so that's good. That is amazing. All right, so you can taste the peppers, the tomato, the oregano, the Parmesan. Parmesan is standout. Even though vinegar is the first ingredient, that adds a little bit of a a tangy burn to it, but it's not bad. I don't like vinegar forward sauces, but this isn't vinegar forward. This tastes like pizza. <laughs> Straight up, this would be the perfect base sauce for a pizza, 100%, guarantee it. That is fantastic. Holy, wow, yes. All right, Scoville scale, let's check it out. About the same consistency, got a nice smoothness to it. That is really good. It's a very traditional tasting pepper sauce. It's got a sweetness to it, not an immediate heat, but it's a building heat. And it's starting to come in across the tongue and the throat. So for me, you're looking at the seven pot kind of being the slower of the build, and then the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion is the one that kind of moves more across the top of the tongue. This has a really nice sweetness to it and a really nice smoothness. So between the tomato paste, peppers, the olive oil, overall, this is this is just an amazing tomatoey, just really overall good pepper sauce. Very pepper forward. Really, really nice. I gotta say, it's a uh, Hotheads is definitely one of my favorite brands. They have some real big home run hitters for me. And these are both really good. So this is one of his other collaboration sauces. He's done one before, I believe. And I absolutely love for that one too. So Tim's collaborations are absolutely phenomenal. And both of these sauces are just absolutely insane. I can't wait to review them and tell you how much I enjoyed them on What Foods. So we will see you in just a bit. <laughs>
I'm learning that sauces with tomato really stick out to me and I really like it. These two in particular, um, especially hot slice, I would say out of the two, this one's my favorite, uh, followed closely by Seven Pot, uh, the Scoville scale, or I believe uh, he actually pronounced it Scoville scale, but uh, regardless, these two sauces in fact, they pair well together too. That's kind of amazing. This one carries most of the heat, and this one's more flavor. Put them together, best of both worlds. So I actually tried them on a lot of the same things together. That makes sense, right? Um, honestly, they were super good on just about everything that I tried it on. So let's go over some of those things, right? So it's probably obvious that hot slice would go well on pizza. But I tried it on some chicken as well. It has a very robust tomato... Uh, uh, and herb and parmesan flavor so this was almost like having chicken parmesan honestly it was amazing and on top of that i had it on a burger it was almost like veal parmesan in that instance so it was actually uh interesting the way that it pulled that out on i also had it on chicken enchiladas that was actually really really good too and overall i found it hard not to just drink this sauce the flavor is out of its world on all on its own so it just works so nicely in all of these instances. This sauce is phenomenal. So a couple of things, eggs, you know, omelet, stuff like that works really well. And uh, I also had it on a, uh, like a cheese tostada and uh, that was really good. Scoville Scale. This sauce is more pepper forward, but it does have a really good backing flavor to that. And Overall, this sauce was pretty universal in use as well. Leading off with that one, uh, on that same cheese tostada, was actually pretty good. Um, it fits well, it's a good pepper sauce. So of course, going into eggs, works perfectly there as well. It's just pepper forward instead of tomato and parmesan forward, right? Fits perfectly as well in that instance. Um, I was actually surprised that one worked as well as it did on eggs, but it was really, really good. Basically, you could say this is the perfect super hot table sauce replacement where you're picking up just a hint of vinegar on the back rather than vinegar forward like table sauces but you get a really good super hot flavor and not a whole lot just like backing notes of the other ingredients on that so it blends perfectly into mexican food for me enchilada was perfect you know tacos stuff like that absolutely amazing it sat well with chicken it wasn't it didn't like do anything crazy like this sauce did but like i said also pairing them together is a really phenomenal mixture so you end up with a good amount of heat from the seven pot here but then a good amount of flavor off of the hot slice and overall you know fits on a burger it was it's it's just a really nice universal pepper forward sauce so in all honesty i would say both of these sauces should actually be together and i think that's an amazing pairing or separately they were they stand out on their own honestly like it's amazing so i would say out of the hotheads lineup these two and his collaboration with smoke and pickles those, those are my favorite sauces and the mole i love the mole all right guys if you like this review a sub would be great and uh the next brand we're going to be deep diving on is going to be high spice they're from Hawaii. Really looking forward to that one. I hear amazing things, but I've never had any other sauce. So we'll get into that one next. We will see you next time.